Hey angels! Welcome back to another vlog everybody. We missed you guys so much. Now look, today, okay, we haven't got the pyjama lockdown version well, actually, of Ali and Con. We once. are. For the, for, for... The first time in a very long time. Yeah. So, today, okay, bit of an update for you guys. We are actually coming to test drive a new car. <gasps> what? Yes. What? You're at the... Connor, Ellie, you've only just purchased the Range Rover. What's going on? You're not trading in already, are you? Well, no, Ellie we are. Trying. Let me explain. No, we're not trading in the Range Rover, but as you guys might know, um, I have another car, which is an Audi. See? Did everybody hear that beeping? Beep, beep. We love that beep because... It tells us when to speak. It tells us when... Up. Yeah. Which is just handy, not that we're ever speeding anyway, but it's just of course, good to we, know. Drive the, we drive the speed limit. <laughs> You've actually never been caught speeding, have you? Nah. <laughs> I of have. course I'm at house. I'm a, I told you, Angel, just for Ellie uh, to turn on the camera, I was just saying how much of a good driver I am. I've never been caught speeding. He was only saying that because I felt sick and I told him, Connie, admit your driver's making me feel sick and he said it's not me. I'm a really good driver. I am, and it helps. How many points have you got? <clears throat> Connor, not that many, and it was from when I was young. You don't actually have any anymore. Good job. Thank you. It's from when I was young and daft. Back in the day, <laughs> the before you met no me. Reason. Oh, honey, look at her. Love that. Did you see That's her not in a our car? car. That's a trike. Yeah. Right? Love that. That's a tweezy. <laughs> um, so. I can imagine you popping around that house <laughs> in a couple of years. Look, oh, she's making my heart burst. There's a little old lady in there, guys. Is, she is, is just a what? rocking my world. I think so. What? Look at her. Oh, love her. Check her wing mirrors. Go on, hun. <laughs> so, yeah, I have an Audi A1 that I got. Was it three years ago now? Three years ago in December, yeah. It was my second car, so it was, at the time, it was a big upgrade because before that I had a Volkswagen Fox. It's done us, it's done us well, hasn't it? It has done really, it's done well. really well. Um, But it's kind of just not practical for our needs anymore, and we do both find ourselves using the Range Rover a lot more just because it's bigger. So we're coming to the end of the lease with the Audi anyway and um, we thought we'd just trade it in. So today we're coming to look at new cars and we've actually booked in to test drive a Tesla um, which we're really excited about. Which I'm extremely happy about because I wanted a Tesla when we got the Range but no you didn't no i did but we needed an suv i i always wanted a tesla to be our next car but unfortunately because her you literally never said that Ellie, are you kidding me <laughs> you called me out on the vlog <laughs> that's the truth <laughs> you always wanted a, one of those a ford trucks because jordan has one by the way everybody look at con's cute checkered shirt today i'm actually a big fan I am really a big fan of this. I wasn't too sure. I, it's got a touch of pink. I purchased this in the Zara sale, guys. So I'm a fan. if um, anyone's interested, get on the www.zara.com. <laughs> He's in the silly mood today, everybody. Oh, I've actually not eaten anything yet this morning because we've had a bit of a rushed morning. And I feel sick. I'm hungry. But you know what? It's all okay because I'm going to put on my new sunglasses. Honey, I'm not being funny. We have one minute to make our appointment and you're going 80 miles per hour in a 40. Now, I'm not a speed, as you guys know. Con is just a hater, okay? Con is a hater for basically every single other person on the road. Oh, hell, she, it's because I'm a good driver. That's, I tell you what, that's one of my pet peeves. Bad drivers. I just can't handle it. But who, why is it up to you to decide who a bad driver is or not? Because I'm a good driver, I know the difference. Between a, good, between a good drive Angels, and a I'm bad sure drive. so many of you can relate to your boyfriend right now. If you can, comment below. Hello, Cribs Causeway. Oh, they're not being funny, but where's the Hello? Best place to park? Con, wherever. Because I've gone in the wrong uh, entrance. Why did you do that? No, I didn't think Con was going. I thought you were a good driver, hun. Christ, Ellie. that's all I've bloody heard all morning. Anyway, no, no, can, we just, right can we just can um, we just talk about my sunglasses? Let me see. Oh, oh, not those boys. What do you mean, not those boys? How do you know? All Con's right. mad at me because I got these. They're vintage Chanel. Vintage Angels, yeah. Got them off of a store online called Jean Vintage. And um, Con thinks they're fake and they're definitely not. They're not. They're not. Oh, they are. Coming, Angels, they're not. They're real. Also, oh my God, Angels, okay. <laughs> right, I'm actually a bit 
emotionally recovering from something this morning, okay? So... Oh, what's wrong, baby girl? Last night... Con, that's not the line! It's, are you lost, baby girl? Are you lost, baby girl? Are we going to the mall, yeah? Yes. By the way, yeah, Tata don't actually have a... Like, a big car place in Bristol. They just have, like, a shop. They have, like, right? a pop-up shop. And they have two cars in that pop-up shop. Angel Collection do a better pop-up shop than test. <laughs> yeah, so last night, okay, we finished the final season of 13 Reasons Why, which if you guys don't know is oh. in my top three, maybe even top two LA, think about series. what you're saying right now. Con, honest. I'm being honest. Name me a better Stranger Things is on the same level, okay? Oh, Stranger Things was a good, right? But what tops them? Come on, not much. Suits doesn't. I think Suits would if it was condensed into like four seasons. The mm. fact it just goes on is a bit like. Mm. I've got the hiccups. Wait, 13 Reasons Why is just. Guys. No, Con, it's not even on the same level. See, I like like American kids, high school. That's my vibe, Ellie, okay? You know that's my vibe as well. Well, oh, so wow. why are you bluffing then, mate? I'm not gonna ruin it for everybody that don't mind everybody. No spoilers here, but. Emotional. Christ. I actually sobbed. Can you bring the camera, please, darling? I sobbed my heart out all night, and it was one of those things where. Like I woke up this morning, and I thought I actually can't believe I, I was put through that viewing. It was just one of those moments where you just think, wow, that was just actually pretty surreal. So, be warned. Right, as I think I've mentioned, I'm hungry. I haven't had any breakfast yet this morning, so I'm going to quickly try and get a boost juice before we do the drive. Oh, wow, do you want to pop into a jewellery store? For what? I don't know. You're a pest we need to you? measure something. <laughs> He's already measured it, everybody. Let me oh. just say that, right? Oh. It's Herbie's favourite shop. The only shop that fits in. It's very weird being back in the mall. Okay, I've picked up my boost. I'm very pleased about it. And who's this I have picking me up? Wow! Are you lost, baby girl? Oh my god, Con, let me in the car. I don't know. Whoa! Oh my god. Now what? Con. Oh my, wow. Yeah, darling. This is gonna take some getting used to. Don't spill any of that juice on the I in won't. The cars. Okay. Okay. Wow. What do we think? <laughs> what do you think? Is darling? it pretty futuristic or what? It's pretty cool. Love it! Wow, Ebu. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. What do we think of the white interior? I like it. The options for the car that we would get, Angels, is either this interior or black seats. And then this bit would be like wood. What yeah. do you guys think? I really like it in the white. I prefer it in the white, definitely. I think it's really nice. Yeah. We've got a bloody fat off iPad for the screen. To watch YouTube. Not when we're driving, Con, that's irresponsible. Um, yeah, I, everybody, I've picked up my boost and I'm really pleased about it. I've got the Brecky to go-go. Christ, Con! Oh my God, don't do that! <laughs> that's bloody do hell. Bit of a up to it, isn't it? No, Why? I don't like the Con. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> you wait till I get on the motorway, Addy. Got a Brecky to go-go. Which is banana, honey what? and muesli, it's stunning. It cool, notices right? traffic lights. Oh, it's the that is pretty nifty. Look at that. Connor, do not do that. that Honestly, like a that's coaster, like, it's it? like being on a roller coaster. Did you just see how fast I went? It's like being in a, on a roller coaster, Con. Your head actually goes back. <laughs> <laughs> Angels, look who's got the goods. Oh! I got the good goods and the Nando's. Boo. Oh. Oh. This is our first Nando's. You know, for darling. Is it for the entirety of 2020? 
No bubbles. <laughs> Babes, come on. When was the last time we had Nando's? We must have had one. I don't think so. Al, please tell me this isn't my first Nando's in 2020. I think I'm it might be, you know. I think it might be. Come on, let's do an Are unboxing. We gonna eat in there, yeah? Oh, yeah. Be careful. You be careful, how about that? Do you know what, Angels? I actually got chips and mash oh, you today. I am joking, darling. You do you, boo, at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, are you laying out a picnic table for us? Yeah. Love it. Um, yeah, I got chips and mash today because I just think I'm living my life, babe. Do you know what I mean? That someone's, someone's just got to make the most of it. And I thought I could it's just have a bite of Con's garlic bread. So that was my thought process buying my order. Also, are. they've got a new flavour, by the way, everybody. Passion fruit and mango. Of what? Instead of mango and lime. Which I'm a bit offended that. about because mango and lime's my flavour. Um, so if I don't like the new passion fruit, I'm in a bit of a pickle, aren't I? Paranade sauce for my darling. Thank you, my love. Oh, I'm you actually went for passion fruit and mango. I'm moving the car back to Connor's position. Oh, mine's a fair as it goes back. You got normal chips, right? No, I got peri, peri chips. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, Con, don't scare me like that. I'll go on. Con! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, then. Cheers, me. This is turning into a food channel, isn't it? Mm. Food reviews of Eddie and Connor. Oh, come on. Leave a like if you'd want to see that. Oh, I would want to. Of all the foods, we've forgotten how they tasted. Oh, yeah. When we get back to normality. Oh, my God. Yeah. Got to take an Instagram story. Oh, yeah. Bubble, we'll take a picture. Oh, why do I keep calling you Bubble on the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> Got the secrets to, coming out. Cool. <laughs> oh, my God. My leg. These are ripped jeans. My legs actually look like joints of ham <laughs> well <laughs> that, that I mean? one there yeah he's popping out isn't he <laughs> yeah he is and i'm not even he's alive. popping <laughs> <laughs> look at that. that's ridiculous i'm not showing the entire internet because that is embarrassing look at that car oh, that's, that is something <laughs> swollen <laughs> oh give me a start <laughs> Candid. <laughs> right. My my burger's a bit messed up. I'm not really messed oh, up. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, the bun's falling off the top. Well, I'm sure you can put that back on, Com. This is a grilled chicken pitta with cheese, chili jam. Okay. And that's it. In mango and passion fruit. Take that fat off piece of lettuce out because that kills my vibe. And I've just got a chicken burger. Look how big that tomato is. That's the thickest slice of tomato I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Oh my god. Mmm. Nando's have done something since they've been shut calm. Best Nando's I've ever had, I think. On oh, Friday afternoon, I fat not this. Mmm. You are darling. I was just about to text you, I was going to be Yeah, I thought you would. It's your little Saturday routine, isn't it? Alright, darling. Yeah, you alright? Yeah. You're looking cool. Thank you. This is my best look. Yeah, like a little mole. Oh, don't call me that. Good morning, angels. Happy Saturday. Happy. He's downstairs eating his dinner, boo. Oh, I just thought I heard him come up. So guess what? He went outside, yeah? Yeah. Out in the back bit where it's dirty. He comes in, I let him in. He's never done this before in his whole entire life. I got my brand new white socks on. Is it on your foot? He comes and just stands directly on my foot. <laughs> Look at that. Ruined. Bugger, isn't he? What's new? Not much, darling. Oh, boo, open those curtains up, let's light in. See, the angels want an update on the... Not too much of an update. I'll show you too much. So you're allowed to see. Sorry, angels. What's our plan today? Chill out. Saturday, innit? Oh my god, is that what I look like? <laughs> Your best look, innit? Your best get up. 
Come on, but you're glowing after your little. Uh, lovely sleep. Bro. Yeah, you're glowing after your little face mask last night. Oh, I did a lovely face mask. I did the Garnier Milky one. Oh. Still hot, is it? Mmm. Thank you. Tastes like a cup of tea, right? Yeah. Why? Oh, what is it? Cup of tea. <laughs> Hello angels, an official good morning from me today. Um, I am showered, dressed and ready to have a nice chilled out day. I'm actually having a no makeup day today, which I'm pleased about. Um, okay, so there's lots going on upstairs this morning. Connor is having a shave. How far into it are we going today? Is it an all offer? Just trim. Okay. Just trim today because I've I've put, put on a couple of pounds so my face is a little bit chubby, so <laughs> if I shave them all off, right. I might be defined. Because there have been a few random times in lockdown, Angels, that Connor's just decided to completely whip his facial hair off. Um, I mean, I love and support him, obviously, no matter what he looks like, but I must say I'm pleased that the beard is being kept today. Also, other than Connor's shaving noise, if you can hear, like, screwdrivers and stuff, it's because... Today we are having some of the decking put on the, what's, like the frame, is that what it's called? No, I know it's the pergola, but like the structure of the pergola, basically the decking is going on today. This is how we are looking, oh my god, I am literally so excited about it, I've been waiting for ages for this decking, and if you guys follow me on Instagram you might remember when I did the, um, like poll as to what colour I should go for. I decided to go for the sand colour instead of grey and looking at that I'm so chuffed that I did. Garden is coming on really really well. This is how we're looking today. Yesterday Frank spent um, basically the entire day putting in all of the electrics so we now have one big plug that's like on the back door here um that it's going to turn on all the lights and we've gone for warm yellow lights they're going to be in the floor of the pergola in the floor of the decking and um i'm really excited and also that is a swing set from my mum so i'm really really pleased about that that is going to be repainted because we had to give it a big old clean um when we went to go and collect it from her house and because she painted it some of the paint is coming off so that needs to be painted as well so basically it's all going on in the garden i've actually had a really nice cleaning morning this morning you know when you just feel like you need a big spring clean and you're ready for it um that was me this morning so everything is just feeling lovely and fresh in here i've got a clothes wash on and i actually thought that i could do a little bit of a house update upstairs because i feel like whenever i've shown you the house so far Oh, look at my son. Are you the cutest boy in the world? Are you the cutest boy? I feel like whenever I've done house updates and stuff in vlogs, it's mainly been downstairs because that's where, I'm not going to lie, the focus has been, everybody. You know, living room was a project. Kitchen island was a project. Study was a project. Panelling and painting, blah, blah, blah. That was all a big project. I'm still actually yet to get one thing done downstairs i'm almost certain that i'm going to be getting the downstairs loo redone but i haven't persuaded connie yet so everyone can comment on this bitch saying oh my god can't wait for a stunning new downstairs toilet and also i want that bathroom done too so i'm still yet to persuade him about that as well but basically i want the whole house just turned up turns upside down there have been a couple of things going on upstairs first and foremost we are officially all painted ladies and gentlemen um i feel like i've been waiting for a lifetime for this, to say this moment and i know actually like count my lucky stars that i am actually saying that sentence it took a few weeks to do because we had pretty much every room i think apart from the living room and the kitchen and the bathrooms every room has been panelled including the hallway which was a big job in itself um and so now as well we're all painted okay let me talk you through all the rooms so filming room 
This is the current shape. It's very messy. They are Angel Collection bits and bobs, so nobody look over there. Um, this is the current shape of what will be my filming room. So a few updates in this room. Basically, I am completely unsure as to how I want the vibe in this room to be. I have a few different options, and if you guys follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories as well, then you will know the dilemma I've had here. Basically, this is my stunning Hollywood mirror that I was almost certain I was going to be getting rid of because... Oh, I don't know, it's very like 2017 me and sis, we've upgraded since then, we've leveled up, we've transformed, we've blossomed. I just don't feel like it goes with the interior of my house at all. I feel like that is so long ago. But um, the light it gives off, obviously for when I'm filming and when I'm getting ready as well, I did my makeup, it's just like unmatched. I've never had anything like it is just amazing on top of that there are only some dressing tables that fit the hollywood mirror because on average the ones i've been looking at dressing tables are like an average width of um 100 centimeters and that hollywood mirror is like 110 so it's a bit awkward because then you get bits like hanging off off the side of the dressing table it doesn't look very good and that dressing table is actually broken this is a really long winded story but i promise we're going to get somewhere i can go for this dressing table which i'll pop on the screen now which I'm not obsessed with, I didn't see it and fall in love, um, I just feel like it would go with the white interior of the room and it would also fit my Hollywood mirror on top. I can go for this other dressing table that um, I have fallen in love with. My only thing with this one is it definitely wouldn't go with the interior of the house but I just love it so much and I have an idea of what I'd do for a mirror um, if I was to get that one because the Hollywood mirror doesn't fit on top of it. I think I would get like a big full length mirror and put it behind the table and then it would give this kind of vibe. Also with that one, that one comes with a tool chest which would be really really handy for all of my makeup bits and bobs, my hair accessories, things I need to film with and stuff. And the third and final option which is um, kind of the one I feel like I will go with because I just feel like it would tie the house together perfectly but I'm not 100% sold on it yet. Um, when I put all of these options on my Instagram story, the lovely Lydia, and I had to pinch myself that Lydia Millen had DM'd me in regards to home interior and what she thought would look best because I'm not joking, whenever I make an interior decision in this house, I literally always think to myself, what would Lydia do? So I was just, I mean, we can all imagine myself blown away, um had to like triple check my phone yes she really did message me and she suggested that i should go for like an ashy woody dressing table um with some like lovely rattan baskets in here and like some little trinket trays and really cute vintage accessories and i know for a fact that that would definitely go best with the rest of the house um it's just so far from what i was originally thinking that it's taking me a minute to get around to it but I think eventually I probably will go for a vibe like that because I want this to be like a really random one where it's just super glam all of a sudden, you know? Um, anyways, that's my big dilemma with the with the filming room. So let me know your thoughts down below. Honestly, I would really appreciate it. Wardrobe room. We are having a big rebranding in here as well, everybody. So ignore the state of it at the moment. It looks very bare and plain and empty. Apart from my gorgeous puppy so basically this morning we took the rug out because it was like a faux fur white rug it was, it was like really dirty and just didn't look very nice so i've taken that out and i think i'm gonna do a big natural looking rug in here instead of my usual like white faux fur vibe that i've been used to with all of my other dressing spaces so of course if you guys are new here and you don't know the story, these doors fell off, so that's why the wardrobe is open. It doesn't normally look like that. Um, but this is actually one of the doors that fell off. We just had a big mirror on there, and Ikea can't come out to fix it currently. So, I know, Herbie's very upset. Um, so, we will have doors eventually back on there. We're going to have a nice big rug. I'm thinking of either getting... The reason why this door is here is because I'm thinking of getting a full-length mirror to go there, or like a half-length mirror to go above the panelling. Um, awesome wall art same for that i think i'm gonna get some baskets to go on top of the wardrobes for storage finally i feel like the only room that i kind of have a little bit of an update for you guys is the spare room which me and herbie are just in love 
win. As you guys know, this room is pretty much my pride and joy. Ignore that mirror. That is the other door for the wardrobe room that's fallen off. We've just put it in here for now. But I've kind of added a couple of things, okay? So you might notice that the butler's tray is now over here because... Da -da -da -da. We have the new armchair that me and Herbie put up together and that was such a fun bonding experience. How gorgeous is this armchair? So this matches the um, sofa bed that I bought for the filming room that you guys would have just seen. I love it and I think I'm going to get a nice big mirror to go here like a circular one or here maybe and honestly I can't believe I'm saying this but I think that's this room pretty much done. Those cushions are not supposed to really be on there, I just threw them there because we have nowhere else to put them but yeah i'm really really pleased with how this room's looking if you have any questions as to where anything is from i will leave links to it all below and i think that's the house update upstairs you know everybody i think i'm gonna do some baking today um it's the weekend everybody we know what that means baking queen comes out and it made me laugh so much the other weekend because connor actually requested the um mini egg cookie bars are just stunning and whenever i put them on my instagram story so many of you ask for the recipe um it's not my recipe actually it's from this baker let me get the name up yes her name is jane's patisserie so i'll leave um a link to her below she just has the most glorious bits and pieces to bake on her website i cannot cope she's definitely my go-to and so she is where i learned the recipe from back in Easter when I wanted to bake some Eastery bits. Basically, I just always use the um, cookie bar recipe from her, but then add my own bits. Hey, what have I got to go in there today? I think I'm gonna do some like chocolate chips, some marshmallows. We're gonna have a look in our baking cupboard. Okay, angels, who's ready for baking with Ellie for the official mini egg cookie bar recipe but except we're not using mini eggs today. So, okay, we've laid everything out and we are nearly good to go so first things first we have to get all of our ingredients out which i have done i've got my little recipe book right here this is my recipe book where all of ellie's best kept recipe secrets are in this book including this one ingredients we're going to need an egg some butter some granulated sugar i have two packs here because this one is really really low same for the brown sugar same for the flour we need some bicarbonate of soda and some vanilla extract. And then for my little topping chocolatey bits, I'm gonna go for some milk chocolate chunks, some white chocolate chunks, some marshmallows, and then also we have some of these left over. So I think I'm just gonna chop them up and include them. And then for snacking purposes, my lovely boyfriend has actually made me some guacamole and I'm gonna have them with some reduced fat barbecue crisps from Marks and Spencer's because they're the best. Fun fact, actually, this guacamole is the new and improved Connor Swift recipe. If you guys have been around for a while, you'll know Con has a guacamole recipe that literally blows me away every single time. He's always looking to improve because you know, I feel like guacamole, it's like very personal. And um, I'm actually, I'm really into Queer Eye. I've really got into Queer Eye this week. I think it is the best show in the world if you guys haven't watched and you need something that's just like really feel good and happy, Queer Eye is a go. If you guys don't know what it is, basically it's a bunch of five guys in America and they go around America and they give these people like not just physical makeovers, but like literally life makeovers. There's a guy for interior design, there's a guy for fashion, there's a guy for grooming, a guy for diet, and then a guy for, like, personality. The diet guy on one of these makeovers, like, sometimes he teaches people, like, a recipe or two, just, like, really easy ones. And one of them was this guacamole, and, um, it's literally just avocado, coriander, a little bit of chilli flakes we like to add in there, some tangy Greek yoghurt, which is a, like, new thing for con, and lime juice and salt. And it is the nicest guacamole ever, so if you guys are looking for any guacamole recipes i'd highly recommend so my scales are actually broken at the moment so i'm gonna have to be using my american measuring bits my cups and then my tablespoons it is what we're going to be baking the mini cookie bars in just this square tray i got this from sainsbury's you're going to need quite a deep one and then my lovely pink mixing bowl which i actually think is from poundland so okay you're all set up i think i'm gonna put some music on so that i can not listen to the drilling outside oh oh my god the decking is just looking stunning i'll have to show you after this these faves i like to have a playlist for myself because who doesn't i think we might start with some high school musical troy, troy. 
gotta say what's on my mind. Oh my god, baking tune. Something about. what the cookie dough looks like before it goes in the oven mmm I'm literally so excited I forgot to mention as well that you actually do need a teaspoon no sorry a tablespoon of corn flour and a little bit of salt but I never put the salt in this is all nice and greased I just used the dry light um, butter flavor spray to grease all of my baking bits before it goes in the oven and the oven is preheated we need it to be at 190 degrees Celsius um, the recipe says to bake it for 18 to 22 minutes, but my top tip is to actually bake it for 15 because then everything else goes really nice and gooey. Okay, everybody, here are the finished results. I'm literally obsessed. And I have somebody right here waiting to take a first steps. bite. Any particular one you would like me to try first, Ellen? Um, how about... This one here, I think. Um, well, that's the biggest one. Let's cut a little bit off, shall we? Uh, I'll just take a bite and put it back. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. I <laughs> mean. Oh, was it nice? Look, angels, okay, one rule that you must stick to when you make these is that you have to have one when they're fresh out of the oven. They are so delicious and they they go to waste if nice and warm, to be honest. They're so yummy. Okay, angels. Where have you gone? Oh. Who's putting his shoes on? Go ahead and conclude the I mean, vlog, apart from this, apart from this. Wait, this is big, sorry you darling. You literally just smacked me on the ear. Okay, is everybody ready to see the first complete decking? It's not, com it's 90% complete. The decking's complete. We've just got to add some lights on. No, and side bit, I'll pass that as decking. Oh my God, well, the first floor is up. Surprise! I'll turn the switch on. Okay, ready? Look, here's our little outdoor switch, everybody. One, two, three. Oh. Obviously, it's not dark yet, so it doesn't really make much of a difference, but Boy. that looks pretty cool, dude. If I do it's say so awesome. myself. Go on, then. Oh, my God, it's all going to come tumbling down. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> come on, then, oh! Come on. Come on. oh, wow. You're so... Oh, you're so the lights what do we all think of them i'm very pleased i went for that it was a it was a decision between warm and cool I just love it but i can't wait until we've got a fire pit here we've got our hammock we've got some cute lanterns got my gin in my hand. yeah music's pl playing see we are going to be having steps up by the way on yes, both sides there. so that's the pergola and then when Frank comes back to work in a couple of days time we'll be starting on the dining area bit and then we're going to do the patio and then we're going to do the grass and the, a new gate and a new play area and the rest everybody is news for the garden transformation vlog which will be coming as soon as this is finished so okay that's the final update of the vlog everybody oh my god Els I just what? got my pure white vans filthy dirty oh my god um, i'll tell you there's one thing angels like when you do your garden up it's a lot of mess turn our decking lights off Go on. right angels we love you guys so much we hope you have a fabulous rest of your sunday today because sunday is the best day ever we love you guys so much and we will see you in the next one bye